Okay, time to take a look at the 7 Tour 5 channel truck 360 safety monitoring system. Okay, kind of neat how they got this organized. So we have our display mount. It has an adhesive bottom. It also has holes. So if we want to screw this down, we can do that. We got a swivel base. So this will just press in right there. And we got some screws so that we can attach it all. Now this is nice. They actually gave us fully braided cables for all of these cameras. That, I have never seen that before. And there is the camera. That is surprise. This is actually a metal body. So they were not slacking when they made these things. We can see that that is adjustable with a couple of screws to lock it down. And the bottom has holes so that we can mount that. And we got a bunch of self-drilling screws for these cameras. So we got five of these cameras and they were definitely not skipping out on those. I'm actually really surprised to see that. And we have got our wire harness. So we've got our large plug, which has all the pins on it. So this is gonna be what interfaces with the monitor. On the other side, we have a cigarette adapter. It also has a USB port on it. So we can use this to charge our phones as well. And it says this outputs two amps at five volts or 1.5 amps at 12 volts. This can be unplugged. So if we don't wanna use this, we can use another interface that'll plug into there, or we can just snip that off and we can use these individual wires. And they're all labeled. So we got our positive, our accessory, and our ground. I'm very happy to see that they did actually fuse the positive. Then we got a left turn signal input we got a right turn signal input and reversing signal input so if you want to you could wire those in to have those automatically switch to those cameras whenever you flip the turn signal or put the car in reverse that is actually kind of cool we got our user manual that is in full color and we have got our display so it looks like it's going to be capacitive touch. We have buttons there on the side. On the back, we got this cable hanging out, so that'll be what plugs into that harness. We got access for the mount. On the left side, we got USB port, and it looks like it comes with a flash card. And that is a 64 gigabyte flash card. It's also by Lexar, which is a good company. And the last thing is the accessories. Oh, cool. So for each camera, we have a nice long braided cable and the connectors on each side. These are like very premium cables. This is very nice. So we got three of these. I've got a really long one. I assume this is gonna be for the rear camera. And then we got two medium length ones. That's nice. So I'll plug the monitor into the harness. And the wires are labeled. So this one says left view. So this will be our left camera. This one is front view, so this is going to be essentially our dash cam. This is back view. This one is right to view. And the last one is interior. So if you had a passenger, you want to make sure that they weren't doing anything weird, you could have an interior camera. Those are all connected. I am just going to use an adapter to supply power. All right. Well, that has got a pretty nice screen on it. So we can connect a phone, listen to music. We can just monitor. And there are all our cameras right there already. So we got our left, we got our right, we got our rear, we got our interior, and we got our front. That is cool. And we can see here that we are recording. So this is recording video. So this is essentially a five camera dash cam. So you can see what's going on every single angle of your vehicle. Click back. Okay, and I do like that we got the actual navigation menu there on the side. So that way, even if it's taking up the entire screen with the display, we can still increase the volume, decrease the volume, connect our phone. Okay, I'm gonna use Android Auto. And so it is showing up on my phone as RK3566 under Bluetooth. So I'm going to connect to that. And pair. Awesome. Cool. So now even if I don't have a fancy audio system on my car, I've got full Android Auto right here just from my phone. That's awesome. So let's go home. We got Bluetooth phone so we can actually take calls without having to pull our phone out of our pocket. And again, this is wireless Android Auto. We don't have to plug it in, we don't have to do anything. Video. So I guess we could watch videos on here if we got some videos on the SD card in the back. Playback. Neat. So if we had an accident or something like that, and we want to actually watch and see what happened, we can watch that right from this display. Let me go to settings. Okay, so this looks a lot like an Android operating system, which is completely natural. We got Bluetooth, and we got all of our settings for Bluetooth. Sound, so we can actually adjust the different sources. Lamp detection, brake detection, yeah. This is full on Android. So all the benefits of that, plus, 
You can swipe down. It looks a lot like an Android. Turn our Bluetooth on and off. Settings. Yeah, cool. I really like having that navigation menu on the side. On the top left, we got a list. So if we had a bunch of applications open, we could see them all there. And we can turn the display off. So if it's in the middle of the night and this thing is too bright for us, we don't have to worry about that. And it's very responsive, which is very cool. So we can adjust our navigation. We can play music. Make calls from our phone. Go back to the monitor. Bluetooth music, video, settings, gallery. So if we want to look something up, we can do that. File manager, so we can check everything that's on the card. Steering wheel. Oh, that's cool. So if your steering wheel has buttons on it, you can actually control this with the steering wheel. That's actually a good idea. So we have a full manual for this digitally right here on the display. We got some streaming apps. Of course, we got maps, the Play Store, music. Cool. So yeah, that is pretty feature packed. I'm going to attempt to inject 12 volts into the right turn. There we go. Check that out. That's cool. So assuming that we turned on our right turn signal, it's going to go right to that camera. It's going to blow out the entire screen. And let's check the left. There we go. That works too. So yeah, that is a extremely well done system. So what that really means is if you wanted to, you could even just put some switches on your dash, wire these into those, and then when you flip that switch, it's going to turn that camera onto full screen mode. So you can intentionally adjust what it is that you're looking at. Now the way that this is designed is actually a very good idea because you can imagine the number of people that don't actually turn their head to the left when they're going to turn to the left. When you flip on that turn signal, if this is wired incorrectly, this will blow out that screen. So even if you don't turn your head to the left, you're still going to be able to see everything that's there. And you can also imagine for the purpose that this is designed for. So if you got a big truck, with a big box behind it, those cameras are going to show you a lot more than you're going to be able to see out of a rear view mirror. So getting rid of those blind spots can save you a lot of anxiety, especially in a densely packed environment. So yeah, between the quality of the materials, like the fact that this is metal with a braided cable, the operating system itself, this is full Android, and the way that this is all implemented, that is the nicest camera setup display that I have ever seen for a car. So yeah, that is an incredible system. I am extremely impressed with that.